Did you watch the soccer last night? Yes, the center forward was hopeless. Every time the winger sent the ball across he wasn't there to hit a in goal. Yes, he wasn't keeping up. His run down the wing started too late. By the time he got there the ball had already passed. That's like the problem in heart failure with left bundle branch block. How are they anything alike? With left bundle branch block, contraction of the lateral wall is delayed. The septum contracts earlier, and blood sloshes from side to side as if in the bathtub. This is known as dyssynchrony. Hum, I see. If the forward had a left ventricular pacing wire he'd be ready for the cross when it comes. That's right. Pacing improves the timing of septal and lateral wall contraction, and directs ejection toward the LV outflow tract. What effect does this have? It increases cardiac output and improves heart failure symptoms. When is it useful? Only in advanced heart failure with LBBB. In the major trial, death was typically delayed by about 12 to 18 months. Is that a big effect? How does that compare with other treatments? Yes, it is a big effect. It's about the same as the effect of ACE inhibitors in similar patients. I guess you can't use it in everyone. How can you tell when it's unlikely to work? If the QRS is not very prolonged, then lateral wall contraction probably is not delayed by much. Also, if the pattern of conduction disorder is not typical LBBB, then the problem may not be dyssynchrony. What if coronary disease is present? Most patients with coronary disease will improve. However, myocardial scar won't contract even if you pace it. If the lateral wall is thinned on echo, that's not a good sign. And what about valvular disease? Like aortic stenosis or mitral incompetence? Don't expect much benefit. Remember you cannot improve an engine by tuning it, if the problem is actually valve failure. Let me get clear on the terminology. Is the ventricular pacing the same as dual chamber pacing? No, dual chamber refers to pacing the atrium and the ventricle. A biventricular pacemaker adds an LV wire, so it is a three-chamber device. Should I package it with a defibrillator? Most of the survival benefit comes from the LV pacing component. The defibrillator adds little, perhaps three months on average. Worsening heart failure is the mode of death for most of these patients, once you take away the option of sudden death. Right. I'd definitely prefer the sudden death.